After Springdale could be a little shorter if city leaders have it their way. But some neighbors aren't sure it's a good idea. Now, 4029's Emily Maha tells us where you could see some new construction. She's live in Springdale. This is the curve in, Spr on, in, in Springdale on 56th Street right now, but it may not be there that long. City leaders want to build a new road to get you into Johnson, but not everyone likes the plan. It's hard to trust a city when you see one thing down and their idea is saying this is going to stop all this traffic. But it didn't, at least not in Randy Harner's opinion. Harner lives on 56th Street, just down the road from the brand new on and off ramps at Don Tyson Parkway and I-49. Wife and I sitting out at our porch and looking, wondering why after a game all this traffic which was supposed to, we thought, be diverted. The city's planning department says that traffic's the reason why they want to connect this street to Johnson Mill Boulevard in Johnson. Today, city leaders got letters from contractors who want the job. I don't like the idea of some of land being taken away for no reason. It's a concern for several neighbors I spoke with on 56th Street, but the city says they may not need to worry. Workers may not build a direct road like the part you see in green. City leaders say the new road could take a different route. That decision will be up to the contractor. But for Randy Harner, he thought this traffic problem was over when they opened the new interchange. I don't understand the idea. I sure don't. City leaders say this project is still a long way out. They tell me it could be at least two to three years before they get the funding for construction. Live in Springdale, Emily Maha, 4029 News. City leaders say the total cost to extend 56th Street south from Springdale to Johnson is half a million dollars. Now, 100,000 of that bill will be split between Springdale and Johnson taxpayers.